Hello everyone, I am Veos, and welcome back to another Kerbal Space Program video. Today we'll be recreating the Apollo spacecraft. And no, I'm not gonna figure out which Apollo spacecraft. It's one of them, damn it. You see, a while back I did the really stupid thing of deleting a lot of my crafts, and unfortunately this was one of them. So now I'm uh, kind of like on a journey to visit, revisit and kind of rebuild each one using nothing but pictures and clips from videos from the past. But the Apollo Lander is a favorite of mine. It was when I was a kid. When I remember looking at it in the books and picture books and stuff, I turned into my space geek nerd like... I was a space geek nerd. That doesn't make any sense, but okay. I was a real nerdy kid. And then when Pathfinder landed on the on Mars, man, I freaking just... I, I started using cardboard boxes and pieces of uh, milk cartons to build my own Pathfinder. It was weird. Well, actually, it's kind of cool, but to this day, my mom doesn't know where I, uh, what happened to all the Reynolds wrap in the house. <laughs> so anyway, as I was building this thing, I start off with the engine first. That way, if I ever decide to actually put this thing on a rocket, I could just merge it into the rocket and it attached directly to the to the engine. Then I added the um, the fuel tanks first, and then I built around that. Now the stock landing gears, of course, aren't exactly. They don't really look like uh, lander legs from the Apollo era. So so you kind of have to make your own. So I use uh, the hinges and a bunch of little communication um, antennas and stuff to try to recreate the landing legs. Of course, the landing legs were mostly wrapped in foil, and in order to achieve that, I had to take pictures of the gold foil that's in-game and then put that in the flag folder in KSP. This way, everything looks the same. It has the same color, the same texture, everything. And I can just use a flag to cover up the legs and even extend the the big old pads on the bottom of the landing uh, landing uh, gears legs whatever. This way, when they're folded up, they actually look like the folded up version of uh, the Apollo lander. And when I extend them, they look exactly like what the Apollo lander looked like when it was, the legs were extended. But then came the hard. Uh, well, unfortunately, uh, the 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 crew cockpit part of the Apollo lander that comes stock in game for KSP, it has two connection nodes on the very bottom. One connection node, if you attach it at the very bottom uh, connection node, it will automatically put a type of neck shroud or some sort of covering around the neck that doesn't look anything like the uh, actual lander. So what you have to do is you have to keep on, uh, or at least try to get it to connect to the second connection node that's, that's on the bottom of the cockpit. If you're able to connect it to the second node, this this neck uh, shroud thing doesn't, this fairing or whatever doesn't pop up and you're able to sink the whole thing in tighter and closer into the actual gold foil part of the lander. This allows it to look way better and much more closer to the actual thing. Using flags I added some dark textures so because the uh, uh, the Apollo lander actually had dark um, parts to it that were, I guess it was covering up different types of um, experiments and whatnot. But I also noticed that underneath the actual cockpit itself where the RCS ports were were actual I guess you could call them blast protector protectors uh, uh, bleh, guards blast guards from the RCS thrusters the plumes or whatever that's my guess so using a couple of cu communication parts and uh, the little grip pads I made my own little thruster deflector doohickeys of course the Apollo spacecraft carried stuff with it experiments and whatnot so there was room in between the actual fuel tanks inside of the gold box. I'm just going to call it the gold box for now. Enough to stuff some closet space in there so they can have little experiments and whatnot. Now, in reality, the lander was actually about, I don't know, about five times as big as what Kerbal Space Program allows you to have. The lander was significantly big. It was big. So later missions, they were able to find storage space to actually put a fold-up car in there, but uh, maybe maybe in later versions I'll make 
something with tiny little rover wheels? We'll see. Because the big ones are definitely going to be way too big. Unless you store them separately somewhere. Oh, that, that's an idea, actually. Huh. So after testing it and testing it and testing it and testing it, I, I, I wanted to make it like legit and have no reaction wheels whatsoever and just be 100% RCS thrust and be very well balanced. But unfortunately, with all the little knickknacks all over the place and, the, and you know, trying to build the tiny little antennas using flags and uh, hinges and whatnot, the torque of the engine to the center of the thrust to the center of mass was off ever so slightly, like a little hairpin off. But unfortunately, that was enough to create havoc and it would force the RCS thrusters to have to stay on constantly in order to keep maintain uh, balance. I was running out of time, so I just finally just, I, I gave up and threw a little reaction wheel in there. I said, screw it. Ultimately, it is a game and, you know, we're here to have fun. I mean, I, I, if I put the time into it, I probably could find out where the balancing issue is, but it's just easier this way. However, However, the fun part is flying. As we all know, building aircraft is one thing, but flying it is where the real fun comes in. And not just flying it on the outside, like third, you know, third or, uh, bird's eye view or whatever, but flying it on the inside. And I will say that flying it on the inside using only the instrument panel was scary. <laughs> I mean, I wish there was mm, in the instrument panel, I wish you could tell how much fuel you have, you have left or whatever, but I think in the actual Apollo uh, spacecraft, they didn't really have like a fuel gauge. It was more like time. They knew if they activated the engine at this level, then they would only have so much, so many seconds or minutes of uh, thrust. So when they activated the engine, they would start a stopwatch or whatever the case may be. Which maybe if I if I tried hard enough, I could I could actually you know time it how how long it would take for it to run out of fuel at a certain thrust. That'd be cool. But to be honest, I'd probably need a co-pilot because I don't think I could do all that by myself and fly at the same time. But regardless, it was fun. It was actually rather exhilarating. Um, I had put all the, I had put all the sounds up to max so it could sound really, you know, loud and you know, like I was really there and the engines and all that. Uh, when I activate the engines, it was very, very loud. I'll try to dull that in the uh, editing, but uh, okay, here it is. Uh, the maiden landing of doing nothing but just from the cockpit. And yes, every now and then I hit the F2 key in order to glance up at some numbers because I'm pretty sure that the co-pilot would have some knowledge of what was going on. But for the most part, everything is um, controlled via every, all the controls in the cockpit. If it, like, for instance, even though I'd use the uh, action groups to turn the engine on and off because there is no button on the cockpit in the co console inside the cockpit to do that, the thrusters, I actually grabbed and dragged the actual... Uh, it's a... It's a <laughs> what, the, what the fuck is it? called thruster lever eh. but yeah for those of you who did not know you can actually use or click and drag the thruster lever inside of all the cockpits in ksp1 stock pretty cool huh now you know something have fun but anyway here it is altitude altimeter engaging sas rcs let's go prograde all right we're at prograde activating engine whoa that was loud. Okay. And activate. Keep it back. Prograde. Full power. All right, we're going to cut engines for a second. And pretty close to the ground there. Let's slow down a little bit. A little bit more. A lot. Slower. Slower. Okay. Radar. Altimeter. Or altitude. Nice and easy. Oh gosh. Just go by the radar altitude right here. Fast. Fast, 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 more, more, slow, slow, slow. Fast, 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 slow, slow, slow. Easy. 300 meters. Or feet, I don't know. I'm gonna guess meters. Ah. Oh. Slow down, hard, slow. Easy. We're moving sideways a little bit. 
Try to slow that down. Moving a little to the side a little bit. Easy. Three seconds. Two. Two. One. Almost on the ground. Easy. Easy with the speed. Okay, we're good. We went back up. We went back up. We went back up. That was my bad. My bad. My bad. My bad. We're going up. Easy. 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 Gosh damn it. Land already. I don't know where we're going. Oh. I'm fucking this up. Oh, we're out of... <laughs> uh, we landed. <laughs> uh, I hate to see what our spacecraft looks like. I'm I'm gonna guess. I'm gonna guess that we no longer that we no longer have an ass. Uh, what what broke? The landing pad? A landing pad? Huh? I did pretty good. Hot damn! <laughs> wow, I did pretty good. I did pretty good. That that's right. That was. That was all me. Hot damn, that was all me. I don't know how the hell I managed to pull that off. <sighs> well, ladies and gentlemen, if you liked what you saw, please leave a like. And if you really, 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 really liked what you saw, uh, consider subscribing. I upload often, mostly Kerbal Space Program for now. And uh, we also have a membership if you're interested. Check out the membership. If you become a member, you get cool little emojis and badges next to your name and whatnot. Check it out. But anyway... I'm going to call it for today. Thank you so much for, for being here, and thank you so much for watching. Love you all, and I will see you in the next video. Bye for now. Bye-bye. I know you guys want me to see for, with the separation, but I just don't have time. i got to work on it anyway. I don't even think it works. Does it work? No, probably not. I want to test it. Well, fuck me. Well... This? Hey! Whoa! Hey! Why am I going all over? Ah!